Time now, 822. What's it like to grow up wealthy on Palm Beach? I'd like to welcome in Louise Ford, author of Wheezy, A Palm Beach Story. Good morning. How Good morning. are you? I'm fine. How are you? So tell us, why did you write the book? Well, I wrote the book because of the situation that went on with my father as he got older. And I was sort of documenting what was going on at the time. And it sort of all flowed into a story. And then I started writing because I sort of enjoy writing anyway. And I wrote about um, my life growing up. Um, and we traveled a lot and went a lot of different places. I, my parents were much older than I was. My mother died when I was quite young. Now, we hear a lot about the money of Palm Beach. <laughs> But there's a lot of dysfunction. There's a lot of crazy stuff behind the scenes. Tell us a story. <laughs> Me on the spot. Okay. Um, you know, honestly, I don't think it's as... I think there is a lot of dysfunction because the money does... When you're a kid, particularly, I think it's probably a difficult... You know, you grow up... It's a wild scene. There's a lot of money. People are driving around in Porsches when they're 16. But, you know, most of the kids I know are pretty together and nice people and you know my friends are nice and normal and you know they'd rather be hunting out in Okeechobee <laughs> than um, or out in their boat fishing. And you live in, in England now. You yes. left Palm Beach how many years ago? Um, well I lived I've lived in England since the last eight years okay. but I have lived off and on in Palm Beach since I was 16. So how many famous people did you know in Palm Beach as movers and shakers? Well, uh, Palm Beach famous people. Um, you mean famous in Palm Beach or famous, uh, famous in... Famous, you know, famous. I mean, oh, we I talked earlier, you, you don't know the Donald. You never met the Donald, right? No, no, no. Okay. But who have you met? Oh, I don't know. Alexander Haig. Okay. You know. who, who passed away about a year ago. Passed away about a year ago. Did you know him ago. well? Well, I sat next to him at a dinner party one night, and he was charming, and I really enjoyed his company. Um, um, who else in that's Palm a, Beach? Well, I don't know. Right that's there. a pretty good one. Yeah. Now, you write about self-reliance, loyal friends, and a good lawyer. Yes. Well, my lawyer is Sam Troy, who's uh -huh. a bright, bright young thing. Again, he's... What's most important about those three? Like, what do you, what do you need the most on Palm Beach? Well, you the need friend, the friend, the lawyer, or self-reliance? Friends. Anywhere you are. Friend, anywhere you are. Don't you need your good friends, most of, of all? Yeah. But a good lawyer never hurts, right? Well, I know, but I, I don't think most people are worried too much that they're, they have to have a lawyer every day. I right. mean, of course not. But I happen to have a lawyer <laughs> <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> all right, so you read the book. What's the one thing you want people to take away from Wheezy, a Palm Beach story? Well, I hope they enjoy it because there's a lot of fun stories about just growing up and silly things that went on sort of in the 60s and 70s, as with a lot of people my age. Um, but also, um, there's a lot of current stuff with Mickey Rooney testifying in Congress mm -hmm. about elder abuse, and mm -hmm. a lot of this story is about my dad. And I wrote this, a lot of it, because that story needed to be told, and what happens when people get older and lose their faculties and are taken advantage of. Should be a great read, Louise Ford. Thank you so much for joining us in Good Morning you South Florida. We're back in a moment.